Hi, my name is Zaim Iskandar. Okay, the second video of the night will be regarding Heinz Heller Harold Franzen's F1 career. He's a German driver, like, uh, like Heifel, and he's also born in the same city as Heifel, Munchen Gladbeck. Okay. Yes. He used. He was runners up in the nineteen ninety seven champ world drivers F one championship. I think that particular season Schumacher got disqualified from the championship. Yeah. So yes, let me start. So he Franzen was born on. Oh, he's two years older than Schumacher. He's born in 1967. Schumacher was born in 1969, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. He he was born on the 18th of May 1967. Okay. To, to a German father at, and to a Spanish mother. He has two sisters, Sylvia and Tilgon. Sonia, a teacher, two, and two, two half sisters, Samantha, and a former student, Nicole Nadine. Oh, okay. Uh, his father was race, was racing in the fifties, from nineteen fifties. To fifty-seven, Francis Baron. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not getting into his family. Yeah, sorry. So uh, he began his cutting at the age of twelve. Uh, his father brought him, bought him, brought him his first cut. And made an extra extraordinary successful start in 1981 at the age of 14. Franzen won the German Junior Cup Championship. Two years later, Franzen entered the I I I C K Asia Pacific Championship. Okay. In Australia, driving for the Dino, although he did not finish. In 1994, he he finished runners up in the 100cc class. He was founded by and spotted by his father, a funeral director who also acted as both team boss and hit mechanic. Okay. Yes. In 1990, in 1986, Ransom moved into car racing by entering the German Formula Ford 2000 series. After two years in the uh, series, he finished running up in 87. Despite not participating in all races, Hansen pro progressed to the German Formula Opel Lotus in 1988 in the junior team to former F1 driver Jochen Maas. Jochen Maas He's also German this guy Jochen Maas Maas Okay uh, Who Had been impressed by Francis's performance in Formula Ford Francis Was also champion in the German series In his final year But his teammate Marco Werner fin Werner Werner finish he, uh, he uh, third in the championship. Okay. He also participated in Formula Three in eighty nine, eighty nine against future 
uh, starters including Michael Schumacher and Kyle when they are again okay at the time he a big push by Eccleston to have German drivers in Formula 1 championship decided to support both Rassen and Schumacher okay yep he he okay he got his debut in 1994 with a team okay uh, uh drive in peter's house mercedes spout car uh, yes He's imp he impressed Frank Williams so much okay, he Frank Williams wanted him to replace Senna after his death in 1994 but Franson chose to remain in Sauber okay In the 1996 uh, Monaco Grand Prix, I think he finished the race, right? Yeah, four drivers finished. One of them was uh, him. The race was won by Overly, Overly Panis. Panis. Okay. In the 97 season, he replaced Hill at Williams. Okay, in Australia, he he took the lead in the first corner on the first lap. Uh, I I I think he had a few tight uh difficult relationship with um troubled relationship with. Patrick Head, the technical director of Williams. Yeah. He he got a solitary win in the nineteen ninety seven. Okay. The uh agent the uh yeah the Williams chief engineer back then was Adrian Newey. He yep. He generally moved to McLaren, I think, for 1998. Okay. Subsequently, the team found themselves in the on the back foot. Nonetheless, Ratson finished third in the season season opening 1998 Austrian Grand Prix. Ranson and J and Wilder were replaced by uh, Zanardi and Rashumaka in 1999. Zanardi, <laughs> nothing much. <coughs> he was racing with Pros in the mid, mid of a one, then uh, in O. 2 and 03 with Sau Eros and Sauber. Uh, yeah, he replaced Massa 
in the O2 United States United States Grand Prix. He also featured in DTM. With fellow Formula former Formula One race winner Jean Alesi in O four. Okay. Uh, competed in the Le Mans twenty four hours for Aston Martin Racing, driving for two factory Aston Martin DB nines with Kyle when they'll gain. G and Andrea Piccini. Uh, I think Andrea Piccini is Italian. Uh, in the GT1 class, his team finished fourth overall. Nothing. His racing record. Oh, that's all. So back to his effort. Uh, his okay. He 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 appeared in the in F one for nine years. Okay, from nineteen ninety four to 03 First team Sauber, then Williams, Jordan, Prost, and Arrows. He had 160 entries and 156 starts. No championships, no 3 wins. Ah, 3 wins. 3 wins, okay. okay 18 podiums, 174 pole positions. Eh, career points, two pole positions, six faster slap. His first appearance was in the Brazilian Grand Prix. I think back in the 1990s, Brazil, the Brazilian Grand Prix was the second Grand Prix of the season, if I'm not mistaken. Then last first win in the San Marino Grand Prix in night. 1997 last win in the Italian Grand Prix 1999 his last entry was in the Japanese Grand Prix okay uh, he was also active in Le Mans 24 hours nine in 1992 and 08 with Euro uh, racing Aston Martin racing uh, with the Euro Aston Martin racing team Okay, best finish 13th okay, with no class wins. Mm, okay, that's all. Uh, I, yeah, I, for this video is quite short because there's not much to say about um, Francis' career in, in general because he was involved with midfield teams, kind of. Yeah. Sorry. Yep, he he was involved with uh one, two, three, four midfield teams and one championship winning team Williams. But after Adrian Newey left Williams the team was was going down the packing order so yeah so yeah they were generally in the midfield they, they were battling in the midfield oh, oh. he raced with all midfield teams uh Fenton. sorry <sighs> yes sadly his F1 career is like high fail. If he was picked up by Williams in 1994 to replace Senna, uh, he would have won 
he might have won championships and win races so but he yeah he wasn't lucky enough he did he decided to stay in sauber so yeah that's why his number of wins is only three and yep but he's he has almost 20 podiums so that, that's good for him and yeah uh that's all for tonight and tomorrow night stay tuned for my other um my other two race review uh career f f1 driver career review videos uh maybe i'll think of the two drivers tomorrow hmm. okay so i'm signing off by saying good night and stay tuned for my other video and please sorry please uh, subscribe uh, and press the notification bell down below to get more uh, videos from my channel